Game two of Championship Saturday here at Westfield High School features the Duggan Academy against the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes for the Class D Boys Western Mass Championship. Hello again, Tim Mori, alongside of our producer and director, Peter Gentile, bringing you high school basketball action here from Westfield High School, the championship final. The Hoosick Valley Hurricanes, seeded number one in Class D and also seeded number one in the MIAA state tournament rankings. And we're going to talk about those during the broadcast and at halftime, but those rankings are out for all divisions, both boys and girls, and we'll have a rundown of that. But first things first, we've got a great matchup here as Duggan comes into this game with a record of 18-2. and two. They won the Tri-County North, and they're facing off against the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes who come into this game with a record of 18-2, and 8-2 and two in the Bi-County East, and their only two losses uh, this season has been to a uh, talented, undefeated Monument Mountain team uh, who is playing in Division IV. So this Hoosick Valley team has been on a roll. They have marched through the Class D Western Mass Tournament, and they're ready to go here as they seek to take home the Class D Western Mass Championship. Coach Bill Robinson at the helm for the Hurricanes. Facing off against this Duggan Academy team. Nice crowd on hand here at Westfield High School for this one. We had a big crowd for the girls championship that was played before this one in Class D. And it was Hoosick Valley claiming the Western Mass crown once again by virtue of a 57-35 victory over the Pioneer Panthers. So congratulations to the Lady Hurricanes of Hoosick Valley. They are the Western Mass Class D champions. We're gonna go down to the floor now for the announcement of the starting lineups for each team. We have eight championship wins all together here on Championship Saturday around Western Mass. Four games here at Westfield High, and game number two is straight ahead. It is Boys Class B featuring the Jayhawks of John J. Duggan Academy in Springfield. And the Hurricanes from Hoosick Valley High School of Cheshire. The BDIA team would like to thank Pioneer Valley Financial for its support throughout our Western Mass tournaments and for providing our championship trophies. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. So please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance this afternoon. Ensure that your behavior reflects the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your own behavior and the behavior of those around you. Let the players play, let the coaches coach, let the officials officiate, and fans should always be loud, proud, and positive. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated if it could subject the violator to ejection and may result in penalties assessed against your team. If you require any assistance, please call upon a PBIAC, school or security official. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. If there are veterans or current military personnel in attendance with us today, we invite you now to please stand and be recognized. And we thank you for your service to our country. Class 
Christ team by record of 18 and 2, the Northern Academy Jim Hart. First time around for the Jayhawks, reaching a Western Mass Championship game. First, the Federal Reserves. Double zero, Hayden Butler. Number four, Josiah Montanez. Number ten, Daniel Tripp. Number eleven, Matthew Smith. Number fifteen, Eli Tuberi. Number twenty-four, Juan Romero. Number thirty, Kyle Cephas. Now for the J Watch starting five. Number one, Jalen Edwards. Number two, Kyle Collins. Number three, Alan Miranda. Number 21, Caleb Murphy. And number 23, Jason Kalou. Number five, Will Hakes here, getting introduced in the starting five. He's been a big part of this Hurricane team this year, along with, of course, Joey McGovern. He averages better than 17 points a game. The senior, Caden Tatro, a real banger on the boards. Quinnell Bradley and, of course, Frank Field, a 1,000-point scorer. And we're going to pause now for our national anthem. And we're just about ready to go here in this Class D Boys Western Mass Championship. The Duggan Jayhawks, the number three seed, taking on the number one seed, Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. And Hoosick Valley, the number one seed overall in the MIAA Division Five rankings that just came out a little over an hour ago and with all with the brackets. And we hope to be able to talk a little bit about that later in this broadcast. But right now... It's going to be 
Frank Field is jumping it up against Caleb Murphy, the two seniors. Murphy and Field. And Husik Valley wins the tap. And Field's going to be out on top. Man to man defense here by Duggan. McGovern thought about it. Going to go down the lane. Drops it off inside the Bradley for Toe. Joey McGovern with the assist here. Both teams in a man to man. You want to keep your eye on Alan Miranda, number three for the Jayhawks. He's a big scorer, he averages 14 points a game for the Jayhawks. On the miss, field, down the lane, small turnaround, jumper, he's got that. And right off the bat, Husek Valley get a quick start. Field averages 18 points a game for Husek Valley. Miranda being covered by Hakes. From the corner, that rolls in and out. Here comes McGovern. Hakes thought about it for a minute. There's McGovern for three, it doesn't go. Bradley high for the basket. Oh, he soared for that rebound. Connell Bradley. And Husek Valley on the steal now. They lead it 6 nothing here. 6.30 to go here, opening moments. And right now. Music Valley off to a big start. Shot is missed. Hakes on the rebound. And Felix setting the offense now. Again, the Jayhawks in that man to man defense. McGovern out top. And oh, Bradley on the foul. The shot blocked there by Murphy. Nice defense there by the senior, Caleb Murphy. Here comes the Jayhawks. Short up from the shot. It's good for three. Jaden Edwards. He gets the Jayhawks on the board here with 5.40 to go in this first quarter. And Husik Valley leading it 6-3. to three. There is Field for three. He's got three. He can play inside and outside. That's what makes it so difficult for him to defend. He can take it down low. He can play in the perimeter. And the jumper is good there. Again by Edwards. The sophomore. He's got all five of the points for the Jayhawks. Husik Valley leads by four. 9-5. There's Field. Again! Frank Field, two for two. And he has eight points. And Husik Valley leads 12-5. And a powerful rebound there by Field. And Husik Valley looks to run. Thought about it for a minute. And lay it up and in there. And Miranda with the his first bucket. 12-7 Husik Valley. 240. 4.20 to go in this first quarter of action. There's Field again. Oh, misses this one. No, he's one. He's two for three from three point from the three-point line. Murphy down low. The put ball doesn't go. And, and McGovern clears the board and looks to run. McGovern on line three-pointer. He rattles at home. Joey McGovern. And McGovern gets in the scoring column. And it's 15 to seven. Now, who's it, Valley? Pass is stolen there by Tetro. On the transition. Bradley to the basket, score it! Connell Bradley, and he's got six points early here in this ball game. 320 to go in this fourth quarter, and who's it guy with the 10 point lead? 17 to 7. And a three pointer there by Miranda. And a timeout by the Jayhawks as they're going to talk it over. 
And Alan Miranda, the very, very talented sophomore. He can shoot it up from anywhere. But with 3.12 to go in this first quarter, it's Husik Valley with the lead, 17 to 12. While we have a moment, we want to remind you that you can catch up on all the high school basketball action by watching High School Basketball Weekly. Yours truly, along with Rick Bua, every Thursday evening at 7.30. We broadcast again Saturday morning at 10 o'clock and Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. And High School Basketball Weekly is followed by our Game of the Week. So you'll catch the High School Game of the Week coming up. And we're going to have some dandies as we enter tournament play here. The State MIA tournament starting next week. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, at halftime. Into the game now for Husik Valley. Aiden Wicks, he's going to replace Caden Tatro, the sophomore Wicks. So it's Wicks, Bradley, McGovern. I'm sorry, Hakes is out there. Yeah, Will Hakes and Frank Field. And I'm going to call travel in the backcourt. As Dug in, starting to show a little bit of a press there. And now, Jaden Edwards trying to penetrate. And going to be called. There's going to be a foul there. And they're going to call McGovern on the push along the baseline here. And that is the first foul of this ball game here with 2.59 to go in this first quarter. Inbounding there for the Jayhawks. They'll reset the offense. Edwards out on top. He's going to take the jumper. He's got it again. That is Edwards' second three-pointer, and he cuts the Hoosick lead to four, 17-13. There's a cross-court pass there to McGovern. Had Wicks for a minute down low. And the shot, no good. And here comes Duggan. Fast breaking. And Frank Veal with a tough rebound in traffic. Bradley. There's McGovern from way out around the rim and out. And here comes the rebound. That was from NBA range there. He has unlimited range, McGovern. And all the way to the basket is Miranda. Miranda has seven points now. It's a two-point Hoosick Valley lead. And the ball will stay with Hoosick Valley. As the Jayhawks of Duggan starting to pick up. Starting to pick up the defensive pressure. And Trevor Moynihan into the game now for Hoosick Valley, the eighth grader. Finds field. Good inbound to Bradley. That shot rejected by inside there. Oh, on the, the rejection, Caleb Murphy. And the miss. Murphy inside, Bradley comes away. Moynihan ahead to Wicks. Wicks is a, goes around and out, and the ball will go over to Duggan Academy now with a minute five to go. 17-15, Hoosick Valley. And there's Miranda working against Hakes. And Miranda to the basket. Slippery sophomore, he's got nine first quarter points and we're tied at 17 apiece. Bradley.
There's Moynihan from the corner. Doesn't go with that shot. And here comes Duggan. And they're gonna call a foul on the play against Bradley with 11 seconds to go here in this first quarter and that'll put the Jayhawks on the line here with 11 seconds to go in this first quarter. We're tied at 17 apiece. And he back rubs it. And he'll hit one more here with 11 seconds to go in this quarter. And he gets the second one. So that gives him the Jayhawks' first lead here. 18-17. Moynihan into the front court. Five seconds to go. Wicks, a long three-pointer, doesn't go at the buzzer, and that's going to do it for a very fast-paced opening quarter of play. We've finished one here at Westfield in the Class D Western Mass Championship, and the score is Duggan Jayhawks 18 and Hoosick Valley 17. And now, while we have a moment, we'll try to break down the MIAA brackets a little bit here. And we're going to take a look at the, on the girls' side of things, the number one seed for the girls, the Class D Western Mass champion, Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. They will get a first round bye, and they will play a home game in the round of 32 against either the 32 seed, Abby Kelly Foster, or Norfolk County Agricultural, number 33. And it's an interesting seed on that side of the bracket in the girls' action. In the girls' action going forward for another local team, Jury, they ended up being the 14th seed. So they will play uh, in a, they get a first round bye. They'll play uh, the number 19 seed, Neighborhood House. And the winner of that one gets Lennox and or the winner of Hopkins Academy, Smith Academy. So that'll be an interesting matchup there. It could end up that Jury and Lennox will meet once again this season in the girls' side of it. But uh, Lennox received the number three uh, seed overall in the Western Mass Tournament. So interesting where things stand at this point. But that's down the road. We've got Class D Western Mass Championship action here now as the Jayhawks of Duggan have an 18-17 lead here as we start the second quarter of play. It's in the game there. There's a set shot. We're good for three. The three ball by Kyle Combs. That's his first three-pointer, and they got the lead up to four now. Moynihan for a minute. Nice entry pass to Bradley. He can't get the bunny. Great pass there by Field to Bradley. And the Jayhawks now are going to back it out a little bit. And once again, that's... Doesn't go. The putback is no good, and they're going to call a foul on the action there. And it'll go against the Jayhawks as Moynihan was fouled. And now, Isaac Valley down by four here. Moynihan in the front court for the Hurricanes. He thought about it for a minute. The sharp shooting eighth grader, Trevor Moynihan. There's Moynihan with a good set. Doesn't get his shot to go. And Duggan pushes it ahead. Oh, that's an excellent pass there. 
And it's now a six point Duggan lead with 6.20 to go. And they're gonna call a travel there on Wicks. And Will Hakes is gonna come into the, back into the game. So just Will Hakes back into the game now for Wizzick Valley. Almost thrown away there. Edwards out on top, being guarded by McGovern. Down the lane, and the runner goes there for Kyle Combs, and it's up to his eight point lead as Music Valley's been stuck on 17. They have gone cold. They're going to call a foul on the side there. That one's going to go against Jaden Edwards. That's the third, I believe, third team foul this quarter. So now Duggan has opened up an eight-point lead here. They have been quite a run. There is Bradley. He's going to go to the line. He was fouled. Great entry pass there by Field. And they've gone there a lot so far this afternoon. And Bradley does not get the first one. And Hoosick Valley has been stuck on 17 for quite a while. And Bradley gets the second one. 25-18 now. Seven point lead for the Jayhawks of Duggan. McGovern back into the game now. He is... Man to man, there's another, and another three-pointer. And Kyle Combs, they are on fire. Takes from the corner, doesn't go. And once again, 28-18 now. Who's the Jayhawks ahead? And score it, and a timeout. Jaden Lopez and Duggan Academy has charged out to a 30 to 18 elite here with 447 to go in this first half. And it has been all, all, uh, big, all Duggan Academy here as they are on a 20 to zero run here in this ball game. Hoosick Valley led at one point in this game in the first quarter, 17 to 10. And so, they, I'm sorry, it's a 20 to one run for Duggan Academy. And they've got the 12 point lead here with 447 to go in this first half of action. Hoosick Valley charged right out of the gate here in this one. They, had a 10-0 lead to start this game, but it's really been from, a, from about the midway point of this first quarter, it's been all Duggan Academy in this, to this point in this ball game. And they lead it by 12, 30 to 18. Hicks is into the game now. And Moynihan will bring the ball up for Hoosick Valley here as they try to get their offense going. And it's Field isolated there on the side. The Hakes. And here's Hakes. Shot does not go. And Duggan will inbound the ball here on the side. Go, 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 
Duggan going to run some clock here. Get that up and set. Got a nice the ball tipped away by Field. He's going to go coast to coast, and he's fouled, so he's going to go to the line and shoot a pair. For who's it, Valley? With 3.52 to go here in this first half. And who's it, Valley trying to get their offense restarted? They came right out of the gates in this one, but they have been quiet. Field gets one more, he gets them both. And he's got 10 points now. To lead the Hurricanes and it's 30 to 20. 3.48 to go in this first half. Long jumper, doesn't go. Fouled after the shot. And they're gonna give him, I think they're gonna, they're gonna give him th three shots. He, Yeah, he was fouled taking a three-pointer, so he's going to take three foul shots here for, who's, for Duggan Academy. And then the first one rolls out. Man, he's got one of two. This is the second, so one of three, only gets one of three, and it's 31-20, Duggan Academy now. Break four, who's at Valley there? Field, jump right. And Bradley down here, he, he gets up, he may have twisted an ankle there. And, And Karen Kastner going to come into the game for Hoosick Valley. Kastner takes Bradley's fight. We'll check on him later. There's Moynihan. Jumper. Good. Trevor Moynihan gets it off. And that's a big basket for Hoosick Valley. That's a big get basket for them. From the corner, doesn't go. Pass stolen by McGovern. McGovern to the basket. The put back by Field, though good. The foul by Field, he stays with it. There's Moynihan, the shot doesn't go. And on the foul action, it will go over to Bay State with 2.26 to go here in this first half. Aiden Wicks back into the ball game now for Uzik Valley, who trails by nine here, 31-22. And good news for Uzik Valley. Bradley appears to be back on the floor here, back coming out of the locker room, so he may be able to return. He was injured. And here comes Edwards. Oh, that's going to be a travel there. Ah, Miranda. Oh, Hoosick Valley can cut into this lead now. 2.04 to go here in this first half. Point in. There's Kastner. Up and under for Kastner. Doesn't go. Boss stolen away. And saved by Field. 
And pass tipped away. And so a minute 41 to go here in this first half. And it's a nine point differential. Bill thought about it for a minute. And there's Moynihan out on top. Looking for some room. And they're going to call a foul. And that play, it's not, that's going to put Hoosick Valley on the line. I believe that's the 15th foul here, and it is out of quarter. So, so McGovern will go to the line and shoot a pair for Hoosick Valley. Yeah, McGovern. Gets them both. So it's down to a seven-point lead. 31-24. Duggan with a minute 20 to go in the first half. And that call will go over to Hoosick Valley on the turnover. So Hoosick Valley gets a chance to cut that lead even more. And Bradley, Cornell Bradley back on the Hoosick Valley bench. They're receiving some medical treatment. So that's good news for Hoosick Valley. There's Moynihan on the baseline. His shot doesn't go. And a break out there for Duggan. And that's Edwards. He's got 10 points. Oh, nice pass there to Hakes. His floater doesn't go. Moynihan to two Wicks. 33-24. Duggan by nine here. Ball on the floor. And the ball almost goes on that shot. Follow go against. Frank Field, and it's going to put Caleb Murphy on the line. 24 seconds. And it rattles out for Murphy. He's one of three from the line. He's got one more coming here. Missed them both. That's a big break for Uzik Valley. And Field comes in the front court. 18 seconds to go here. Uzik Valley play, can play for the last shot. And that'll set it. Wicks for three. It doesn't go. And Kastner unable to get the rebound. Ball tipped away. And at the buzzer, it doesn't go. And that's going to do it for the first half here in the Class D Western Mass Championship. The score at halftime is Hoosick Valley 33 and Hoosick Valley 24. I'm sorry, Duggan Academy 33 and Hoosick Valley 24. We're going to be back with second half action. We're going to recount the first half for you and we'll be back in just a moment. And we're back here at Westfield High School at halftime of the Class D Western Mass, Western Mass Championship. We're counting the first half. The score here at halftime is Duggan 33, Jehusik Valley 24. Leading Duggan Academy with 10 points was Jaden Edwards, the sophomore, and with nine points, Alan Miranda. For Hoosick Valley, they were led by the senior, Frank Field, who uh, led with uh, Hoosick Valley with 10 points. Quinnell Bradley had seven. He suffered an injury, but he came back, uh, sat on the bench. Looks like he's going to be available for, this, for the second half. And Joey McGovern had five points. And as we said pr previously, the Western Mass, I'm sorry, the MIAA state tournament rankings are out. And we're going to go over the boys' rankings in just a moment in the tournament. 
for just a minute in the number one seed, Hoosick Valley, with a record of 18-2. They're here tonight. This game does not count uh, in the state tournament rankings or uh, at the seeds. Uh, locally, Jury High School with the number six seed at 13 and seven, uh, Jury High School. So they are uh, going to be in the sixth seed. Um, McCann Tech got the 28 seed uh, in uh, the statewide tournament. And looking at the tournament and, and just following that, McCann Tech will open up in a preliminary round either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and uh, they will open up at home against uh, Smith Academy. And the winner of that game will play Mahar Regional in the round of 30, 32. Hoosick Valley will be at home also in the round of 32. And they will play the winner of Keith Tech and Mount Everett Regional. Uh, that's the winner of Keith Tech and Mount Everett Regional. On the other side of the bracket, uh, the, the Drury Boys get a bye, and they will play uh, in the round of 32, the winner of Salem Academy and Collegiate Charter of Lowell. So uh, that's their first game at home. And if they win that one, uh, they will play uh, the winner of Rockport and Neighborhood House. So uh, they'll also be at home for a second round game as well. But that's down the road. We've got second half action here in this Class D championship. And Husik Bell will have the ball first coming out of halftime. They trail by nine here. See if they can get their offense going. Field on the baseline. Finds Hakes on the side for three. Doesn't go. And that shot. Oh, Field steals the pass underneath the basket. Score. Boy, that's a big play there for Field. And he cuts the down to seven. The shot is good on the interior. Yaden Lopez for the basket. Back to a nine point Duggan Lee. Duggan, the number 12 team ranked in the state. And that pass is stolen. Cones on a breakout. Ahead. Oh, that's a break there. They missed the bunny. Here comes Husik Valley. McGovern. Never thought about it. He's being tightly guarded. Long three-pointer. It doesn't go in. And here comes Duggan. And a foul there on field. 6.40 to go here in this third quarter. That's a second foul on field. That's his second personal foul. Team's first of the quarter. Yeah. Jaden Edwards, a sophomore. He averages almost 16 points a game for the Jayhawks. This is a high-powered offense for Duggan. They average 75 points a game. Miranda, good for the jumper for two. Miranda answers the basket. It's back to an 11-point lead for Duggan. Glad to see Quinnell Bradley back out there for Hoosick Valley. He suffered a little bit of an injury early on. There it goes. And Tatro fouled on the pass by McGovern to Caden Tatro. And he's going to put Tatro on the line. He's going to shoot a pair. 5.53 to go in this third quarter of action. And yeah. Tatro will miss the first one. A senior. And his second shot rolls out, and the ball stays with Usyk Valley on the rebounding action. Good hustle there by Will Hakes. So Usyk Valley gets a break there as Tatro misses both, but. They'll inbound the ball. They keep the ball. 
McGovern for three, doesn't go. And put it up and in by Miranda. Now Miranda, and it's a 13 point Duggan lead. They find Tatro on the baseline. He's, he's sealed off. Going to call five second violation. And the ball will go over to Music Valley. I'm, to, I'm sorry to Duggan. And Trevor Moynihan will go in for Will Hakes now. Yeah, looking to get a little bit more firepower into this offensive lineup. And they're going to call push out on front by McGovern. And the foul will go against Joey McGovern with 5.09 to go and a 13 point Duggan Academy lead here. Lucic Valley needs to try to get something going offensively. Miranda drops it down. Ball on the floor. Loose, and here comes Moynihan. Takes the jumper, step back, got it! Oh, that's a big basket for Hoosick Valley. A big basket for Hoosick Valley there by Moynihan. They needed that, and it's down to a 10 point lead. The floater, and they're gonna call a foul. And it's going to go against Tatro. So Edwards answers right back. Answers right back now. And he gets the three-point play. 42-29, 4.30 to go. McGovern thought about it. Down the lane. Tatro doesn't go. Ball knocked away. And they're on the best break. They miss it. Now numbers for Hosek. McGovern score it. That's a big turn of events there. Bradley saw McGovern down to an 11-point lead. 4.05 to go. Good step back. Doesn't go. Field on the boards. Here comes Hosek Valley. They're pushing the action. They find Tatro to Bradley. Score it. Bradley with the bucket. He's got nine points now. It's down again to a nine-point lead with 3.40 to go. Miranda thought about it. In low. And the shot is missed. Here comes Hoosick Valley. They're looking to push the action. McGovern for three. Joey McGovern. And Duggan will call timeout here. As Joey McGovern with an NBA three pointer has brought Hoosick Valley within six points with 321 to go in this third quarter. Yes, Hoosick Valley has gotten some big offensive production here in this quarter. McGovern, Moynihan with three pointers, Bradley on the offensive glass as well, and it's down to a six-point lead. While we have a moment here, we want to thank Northern Berkshire Community Television for this broadcast of the Western Mass Class D Boys Championship. I want to thank specifically our producer for this broadcast, Peter Gentile, who, rumor has it, slept here overnight to make sure he got prime viewing location. Just a rumor. We don't. We're, we're seeking to see if we can confirm that. So here we go. It's a six-point Duggan lead with 3.21 to go in this third quarter. Defense, 
Now Husik Belly changes defenses. They're in a zone, a matchup zone. Long three-pointer, good! Oh boy, he's been hot. Kyle Combs, that's his third three-pointer and that's a big basket. Combs. Pass is tipped away. Here comes Combs on the breakout. Combs again, that shot is off the mark. The putback is good. And it's back to an 11 point lead for Duggan. Music Valley headed down to six, but now Duggan on a 5-0 ride. There's McGovern. His shot rattles in for two. And there's an official's uh, timeout on the floor with Joey McGovern hitting that shot. Yeah. That basket is good. Back to an 11 point, Duggan Lee. I'm sorry, nine point, Duggan Lee, 47, 38. Down the lane, the floater is good. Oh, beautiful floater. One hand thought about it for a minute. Long three pointer. And a save will stay with Husik Valley on the out of, out of bounds. That's incredible effort there by Frank Field to save that. And so it'll stay with Husik Valley here. A minute 47 to go. Field is foul going to the basket. And he's going to go to the line and shoot a pair for Husik Valley. So Frank Field will get a pair. Field's been perfect from the foul line so far tonight. He has 13 points. Make it 14 on the afternoon. 49-40. Duggan Academy. Miranda handling the ball out top. Miranda steps back. His shot back rims. And the ball tipped out. Miranda, again, looking. The turnaround doesn't go. And the ball, rebounding action. Ball will go over to Husik Valley with a minute 12 to go. And here comes... Music Valley once again. Wicks. Man. Matchup zone here by Duggan Academy. Wicks thought about it for a minute. There's Moynihan for three. Trevor Moynihan with another three ball for Music Valley. Moynihan providing. Some big off and a steal there. Here it comes, Husik Valley. They're down, they've got the lead down to six. Friel finds Wicks from the corner. That shot doesn't go. One and Oh, ball stolen away. McGovern, score it! Oh! J Joey McGovern! And here comes Husik Valley. Responded to <laughs> McGovern will have a chance for a three point play. 19 seconds to go here in this third quarter. McGovern does it and we're down to a three point game. 49-46. Duggan Academy will have the last shot here in this third quarter. 
We got a ball game on our hands here. This is the Class D Western Mass Championship. Miranda out on top for Duggan. He'll take the last shot. His shot doesn't go, and that's going to do it at the buzzer for the third quarter of action. And Husik Valley has come on here, and they now trail by three to Duggan, 49-46, and it's setting up to be a tremendous finale in this one. Music Valley with some big contributions here in this third quarter. Moynihan had, had two three-pointers for Huzik. McGovern had a three-pointer. And right now, Huzik Valley has cut this Duggan Academy lead to three. We got quite a game on our hands here. In a game that was played earlier today, the Hoosick Valley girls successfully defended their Class D Western Mass title by virtue of an impressive victory, 57-35 over Pioneer Valley. And here we go, a fourth quarter of action coming up. Duggan Academy will take the ball out here to start this fourth quarter. Music Valley trails by three, 49-46. Music Valley in a matchup zone. They've come out in a matchup zone here. Man. It's thrown Duggan Academy a little off their game. There's that corner, corner shot. It doesn't go. And Bradley with a tough rebound in traffic. Music Valley can tie this game. McGovern down the lane. His shot blocked. And there's Field. His, he's going to fall it. McGovern thought about it for a minute. Twenty on the shot. McGovern for three. We got a tie ball game. Joey McGovern from the next area code. We're tied at forty-nine apiece. McGovern stretching out. There's Combs. His three ball rattles in and out. And a tough rebound by Bradley. Huzik Valley can take the lead. And they're going to be a foul on the floor. And Huzik Valley will inbounds. What a run by Huzik Valley to get back in the game. We're tied at 49 apiece here with 624 to go in this ball game. And it's been a good one here. Bradley. Moynihan for three. He's got it! The eighth grader has hit another three ball. And Huzik Valley has the lead. Moynihan with three three-pointers here in the second half. And the answer there. By Murphy, and he's got seven points. 52-51, Hoosick Valley. This one looks like go all the way down the wire. There's Wicks from the corner. His shot doesn't go. Field, the putback. Frank Field, 4-2. And a three-pointer, and answer Miranda. Alan Miranda and we're tied at 54 apiece with 532 to go in this ball game. The Class D Western Mass Championship. Duggan Academy has called a timeout. And we are in a barn burner here. As both these teams have gone on runs. Right now, Uzik Valley 
on a big run, and we are tied at 54 apiece in a thriller here at Westfield High School. We have a moment. We want to remind you, you can catch up on all the high school basketball action every week on High School Basketball Weekly. High School Basketball Weekly every Thursday evening at 7.30. Rebroadcast again Saturday morning at 10 o'clock and Sunday evening at 7 o'clock, followed by our Game of the Week. High School Basketball Weekly. Yours truly along with Rick Boo and the guests. And right now, we're here at Westfield High School in the Western Mass Class D Championship between Hoosick Valley and Duggan Academy. And this has been a good one. And Hoosick Valley will have the ball. We are tied at 54 apiece. All right. Hoosick Valley. Wicks. Down to Bradley, score it! And Quinnell Bradley with the basket. Hoosick Valley with the two point lead. Inside to, to Murphy, and we're tied at 56 again. McGovern down to field. He puts it up, powers it in, Frank Field, and timeout by Hoosick Valley is they're going to try to get their defense adjusted. I think there's some issue with Hoosick Valley. They want to see that defense get adjusted, but this particular lineup is doing a great job out there. Right now, Frank Field leads all scores. He's got 18 points in this game. McGovern, Joey McGovern. I take that back. McGovern is leading the way for uh, Uzik Valley. McGovern and Field both with 18 points, but they've gotten a big contribution off the bench here uh, by Trevor Moynihan, who's got eight points off the bench. And the eighth grader has hit in this half three three-pointers. Huge for Uzik Valley. So... 4.58 to go. We're tied. Uh, Hoosick Valley has a 58-56 lead. And on the putback, and Duggan Academy will have the ball first coming out of this timeout here. They trail by two, 58-56. This has been a real will of a high school basketball game here, the Class D Western Mass Championships. Duggan Academy. On the point, Jaden Edwards done a fine job. Edwards and Miranda, great backcourt for Duggan. And the pass is no good, so it'll go over to Hoosick Valley. And here comes Hoosick Valley. Now a little bit of his own press. Moynihan and McGovern in the backcourt. And it was a 10 second backcourt violation. So the, on that turnover, it will go back to Duggan here. 4.27 to go. Three-pointer from the corner, rattles it home. And that's Miranda with the three-pointer. Moynihan for three, doesn't get the answer. But they got the steal back to head the field. Score, bank field. And Hoosick Valley with a one-point lead. We're under four minutes to go. 60 to 59, Hoosick Valley by a point. Miranda. Ball stolen away. McGovern backs it out. 
And the ball will stay with Hoosick Valley. Into the game now is Daniel Click, number 10. He replaces Jaden Lopez and Hoosick Valley now. They have the one point lead and the ball. Field. Turnaround jumper from the foul line. No good. Doesn't go. Here's the rebound by, by Duggan. And they're going to run it out and try to set it up. And click down the line. His shot doesn't go. Moynihan with the rebound. They're going to set this offense now for Husik Bay. Three minutes to go. Moynihan down the lane, score it! Oh, a beauty! Trevor Moynihan on the, on the penetration. Doesn't go! And Husek Valley now with the lead and the ball. 62-59, 2.30 to go. And I'm gonna call it travel on the sideline. Two thirty-five to go here. <laughs> this has been a dandy here at Westfield High School. From the corner, around and out, doesn't go, but on the rebounding action, that doesn't go, Bradley. I had the field, and Uzik Valley. Field works the ball up the court to Bradley. McGovern out top, looking for penetration. Gets finds Bradley. McGovern doesn't go back rims it. Field on the rebounding action, scores it. Wake Field. Whoa. Field's got 20 points now. It's now a five point. Who's it better lead? A minute 40 to go in this ball game. Down the baseline. That shot doesn't go. Bradley on the boards. And Who's it Valley has the ball in the lead with a minute 25 to go. They've got the five point lead. They can run clock here. McGovern down the lane, the scooper doesn't go. And Usyk Valley getting back on defense. Miranda from way downtown, around and out. McGovern with the rebound. Usyk Valley has the ball and a five point lead. We're under a minute to go. They can run clock here. And they might just do that. And only one team foul by Wicks to Bradley. Score! Cornell Bradley has scored it. A three pointer. It's good. Oh, good answer there by Miranda. Alan Miranda answers right back for Duggan. And cuts the Hoosick Valley lead to four points, 66 to 62. And the issue here is Duggan Academy only has one team foul. So they are going to have to do some fouling here in order to stop the clock and at some point to put Hoosick Valley back on the line. Frank Field. Leads Hoosick Valley with 22 points. And Joey McGovern off the bench has 18. I'm sorry, the starting lineup off the bench. Trevor Moynihan with 13 points off the bench for Hoosick Valley. He's hit three three-pointers here in this second half. And he, that has been huge for Hoosick Valley. 
22 seconds to go. Hoosick Valley will have the ball, and Duggan Academy will have to do some fouling here with 22 seconds to go. And here we go, the folks here are standing at Westfield. And Duggan has to fall. And Moynihan is not gonna, and he's gonna hold the ball. That's a smart play there by the eighth grader. The clock is their friend in this one. Now it's the second team foul on Duggan. So who's it value? Will inbound to McGovern. He's going to let the clock, and they're going to foul there. Again, that's on Wicks. So that's the third team foul. And again, they can go in the backcourt, and they got a foul right there. And that's the fourth team foul with nine seconds. So now on the next foul, on the next foul, on the next foul, and that's going to be one. And he's going to run the clock, and he's fouled, and that puts him on the line. He's an excellent foul shooter. So Trevor Moynihan, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to. Gets them both, the eighth grader. And Hoosick Valley will call timeout with six, six seconds to go here. They lead 68-62, and I'm destroying the uh, equipment here. You know, my producer and I, Mr. Uh, Gentile, go back a long, long way. We've been at this now, I think, 16 years. It's always been a play. He puts up with me. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> he really puts up with me. I put him to the test. Anyway, six seconds to go. Huzik Valley with a six-point lead, 68-62. What a comeback for the Hurricanes. Six points to go. And they are in the catbird seat, so to speak, here. They'll need two three-pointers, Duggan. They're going to let him go. The three-pointer goes right with .7 seconds to go. Miranda hits the three-pointer, and that leaves... Whoa, boy. Alan Miranda hits the three-pointer, and now .7 seconds to go. Hoosick Valley will have to inbound the ball. They call a timeout. And yeah, we're going to see what the strategy is. They're putting some, putting some time on the clock. 1.2 seconds on the clock here. And so, last minute instructions here. Hoosick Valley wants to get that ball in here. And timeout there in the kind of car. So they might be calling a second timeout. And Hoosick Valley now comes out on the floor. They lead by three, 68-65 with 1.2 seconds to go in this ball game. The number one ranked team in the state in Division Five. And they follow immediately, follow McGovern with .4 seconds to go. So Joey McGovern goes to the line and he's gonna shoot a pair of foul shots. He can make this a two possession game and put this game out of reach.
And he gets the first one, and that could do it. That could do it. 69-65, who's it guy? Two possession game with only .4 seconds to go. And he misses the next second one, but that's gonna do it. And the uh, Hoosick Valley Hurricanes have held on here. And they are now the Class D Boys Western Mass Champions. Hoosick Valley wins it 69 to 65 in a very entertaining ball game. We hope to be down on the floor and get some interviews and comments from some of the members of the Hoosick Valley squad. And we're going to have the post game awards here for both squads, Duggan Academy and the uh, Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. On the floor here with head coach Bill Robinson of the Western Mass Class D champions. Coach, I'll tell you, a lot of grit for your team coming back like that. They were in a hole. You made some adjustments in the second half. I thought that made a big difference. Yeah, we we, we had a, you know what it was, Tim? It was heart. It was just heart. We had some guys that just wouldn't be denied. And, and um, you put that with a little, with a little skill and some corrections, you're right. We had to make some corrections, and, and uh, that was a, it's a hell of a team that we played. Wow, right. Right. I wasn't sure, and when we jumped out early, I'm like, wow, this could get ugly quick. And no, they came right back, and they, they almost went ugly the other way. Oh my God! <laughs> they got an off a lot of offensive firepower, no question about this squad. They averaged 75 points a game, and you can see why. Yeah, they, they're up and down the floor. They 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 make they make uh, runners, you know, floaters. They make floaters like you. Like an NBA guy, it's like, how do you make those shots? But, you know, it, 
you know, what, whatever. It's a, it's a great high school basketball game. You got so many great efforts out of so many different players. You got a great effort out of, of course, your seniors, uh, especially in the second half. They really stepped up, Field and McGovern. Uh, Bradley, what can you say about him on the boards? Tremendous. He was tremendous. I mean, he, he turned his ankle a little bit there. He went out and he said, I got to go back in. I said, I need you back in there. So, <laughs> so he went back and uh, he, he just played, he just played, he played hard. He just played hard. What can you say about the eighth grader off the bench? I, I, I knew, I knew he was going to show up today. I really did, and and uh, he lives for these moments. And you know, the kid, the kid has a will to win. And and if he, we need more. We need more of that stuff. The will to win on the floor. And boy, he showed up. And he got. He didn't shoot well early, but he hit some big ones later, boy. Boy, he hit some big ones. Yeah, he did. Coach, congratulations. You're number one seed. We just got the bracket. Congratulations. Uh, we, on did another. I, we did what I wanted. I wanted Great. another Western Mass. Thank. You got it, guys. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in here, Mr. Field, Mr. Moynihan. Come right in here, Mr. Moynihan. Guys, look, Coach said it best. You guys had tremendous, tremendous heart, Joe, in the second, in the second half. Yeah, the energy here was a, it was a, it was nothing like anything else, you know, that I've ever experienced. You know, two years ago when we won it, it was a different experience because we were role players on that team. Um, and, to, and to come in now and be the seniors that lead this team, it's, it's amazing. Right. Frank, you, 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 you had a chance here. I know in the first two years ago you got hurt in this game and weren't able to finish, but you were on the floor for the whole way tonight. And I'll tell you, what a second half for, for your entire team. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, we get into halftime, we're down. We, we got to trust our coaching, trust our ability. We got the best coach. And we got the best coach I've, I've, ever, I've ever seen, to be honest. So you just got to trust him, trust whatever he says. Do it 100% the whole game, and you know this is what happens when you trust Bill Robinson. Well, you guys, you guys are you guys are the present, but we're standing next to the future right here. What can you say about this guy, eighth grader? The moment wasn't too big for him. Trevor, I'll tell you, what a second half. Uh, it felt really good. We all knew what we needed to do to step up out there, and we all we all did it. I mean, that was the most excited I've ever been playing basketball, and. I can't wait to win the state championship with this team. Well, great effort by you guys. Congratulations. We got to get off the floor here. We're in the middle of the floor. Congratulations. We'll see you guys uh, down the road in the state tournament. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. That's going to do it here from Westfield. The final here at Westfield is Hoosick Valley 69 and Duggan Academy 65 in a tremendous, tremendous ball game for my, my broadcast. Producer Peter Gentile and Tim Morey saying goodbye from Westfield High School.